Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Aaron from Tree Lab again. Today we're going to talk about seeding, more specifically sycamore seeds, and what I do here at Tree Lab to get them prepped in some soil and plug trays, and then set outside to sprout this spring 2019. So as many of you know, there's a lot of sycamores around in the Richmond area. Uh, more specifically, we're talking about the American sycamore, which is Platinus occidentalis. Now here, I actually have a whole bag of these seeds uh, that I harvested actually from the uh, Evergreen Cemetery. And what these are is you'll see a lot of these usually kind of fluffing out, filling up street gutters and the edges of your roads. Um, they're different than a sweet gum or a gumball, as what some people call them, but uh, these sycamore seeds, as they dry out, which is what I'm doing with the ones in the bag, uh, they kind of break apart and they, they kind of just fluff out. Now you hear all that kind of clicking noise. Every single one of these little guys is a seed and more specifically they're actually an akeen. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit and use a botany book to read what an akeen is but it's considered a dry fruit that doesn't split in maturity and it's actually not this whole fruiting structure but each individual seed is an akeen and you can see it's surrounded by the fluff there uh, and at the tip of it right there that's the actual seed and that's what you get your sycamores from that little kind of needle looking thing another uh, very common akeen actually are sunflower seeds that's another good example um, so what I'm going to do with these I have a couple one that's hard not broken open yet. But I'm going to take this one that's already started to open up. And I'm just going to basically get all the seeds off of it. It's not very hard, especially when they're this dry and they just come apart real easy. And you're left with this structure on the inside. Uh, hard little ball that all the seeds were attached to. Uh, this plays, this doesn't play a role anymore, actually. It's done. Um, so we'll just end up composting that. But what we'll do with these seeds, there isn't a whole lot of cleaning you have to do with them. You can see some of this stuff, this fluff comes off the powder. But we'll kind of just get these, get some of them separated. And then what I'll do is, set these aside for now, take one of my plug trays. Uh, this is a one, two, three, four by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So four by eights, it's a 32 plug tray. Relatively moderate size plugs, not deep, but not small either. And all I'm gonna do is just basically put a very small little divot in there with my finger where I just end up setting the seeds in. Seeds again. Just put the seed in there one or more, whatever kind of comes out. We end up, you know, once these come up, if there's two in there and they're both healthy, we'll just soak the plug in water so all the soil comes off of the roots and then you can easily separate the roots and then you get two trees. So we seed this tray. No, it's a little boring to watch. Uh, very peaceful though, very zen. Uh, so we'll seed this tray. And when we're done with it, I just end up pinching the soil back over the tops of these. I want to cover it lightly, kind of similar to what you would think would happen with these seeds, either in the uh, fall or winter, when they disperse, they fall in the ground and naturally probably leaves blow over it. Animals might eat these or might spread these around. They get covered up. So, you know, we're basically simulating that. I cover it. I don't really push them in too hard. I'm not expecting many animals to take interest in eating these. And if they do, as you saw, I had a whole bag. So I just usually check in on these every few days to see if the birds or squirrels, chipmunks, mice, who knows, if they visited and pulled any of these seeds out. If they have, I'll just put a couple more seeds in that plug and, uh, on we go. So once these are covered up, 
That looks pretty good. Um, take this and I'll set it outside and just let it sit all winter through the water, cold, warm, again, to mimic that natural environment. And then usually when we're consistently above freezing, so depending maybe March, uh, but April, we'll probably start to see some germination. We'll start to push up out from these plugs. We'll leave them in here probably for, who knows, maybe a couple months, depending on how the root growth is. And then by hopefully June, we're putting them out into larger containers. That's it for today. Uh, keep checking back for more. Follow us on Instagram as well. Uh, follow Enrichment on Facebook uh, to see more posts. I look forward to talking to you guys again soon.